Yoast Social Settings. We have to give credit where it's due. This particular setting is absolutely great and you should definitely use it. What goes here, I'll quickly show you. If you're maintaining a Facebook business page, Twitter username would be just a username. Instagram URL, if you're maintaining Instagram account as in profile, then you place that detail of the URL in there. Um, Pinterest URL, if you're maintaining a URL on Pinterest, you can place that in there. YouTube URL, if you're maintaining a YouTube channel. And Google Plus URL. Now, this can be a little bit tricky. I'll show you two different methods. If you're using custom Google Plus URL, you can place that in there. But if you're not using custom Google Plus URL, then you would place your profile ID, which will be different for your account. Furthermore, you have Google Plus here. You can place the same Google Plus URL, whichever one you have chosen. Should definitely enable open graph meta tag and let this plugin use the details that you're providing and as well as it pulls from your blog posts you can set a default settings as far as image url you can simply upload a, a image these facebook insights and admins i don't think it's smart to utilize these because facebook is really improving their platform for Facebook business pages and let's take a look at if you're maintaining Facebook business page then the insights should be analyzed on Facebook platform and Facebook app ID if you do maintain an app with Facebook then you can simply grab the app ID and place it there that's for the app ID let's save changes here let's press on twitter you definitely need to enable twitter card you can select summary or summary with large image if you're utilizing large images then perhaps it's smart to use summary with large images let's take a look at what we mean that means if you're creating a blog post and using featured images then that's great select summary with large images if not select just summary Let's select summary with large images. Pinterest, it says here, Pinterest settings. Pinterest confirmation. Let's log into our Pinterest account. We have this gear icon. Let's press on that. And here you can place the website URL of yours and confirm website. And Pinterest will end up generating this meta tag for you. All you need to do is just grab this portion here copy it and place it in there into your social SEO settings for Pinterest save changes now basically we have provided all the details to our social accounts we enable Twitter card metadata and we've also enabled open graph metadata We've placed some information here. At the end of the day, when we do that, Yoast SEO plugin social settings will add certain information in the source code. If I press on Control U on my keyboard, all this up to here is open graph metadata. As you can see, OG stands for open graph so as you can see it's actually doing a great job with open graph as well as Twitter cards as well pulling all that data from your social settings in Yoast plugin so that's what these settings are all about